Hello my friends, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to talk about uh, the seat that I made with the SimX Pro parts. I call it the NX1 uh, and this is what it's all about. In the past there have been several occasions when someone came over and they were interested to try out sim driving. These people were friends of my daughter, so kids, but also other adults smaller or taller than myself. At all the occasions I couldn't produce a very good position for them to sit in because of uh, limitations or and the difficulties of resetting the configuration. I will try to be as objective as possible during this review, which will be hard since it is uh, yeah, difficult to be objective when you make something yourself. It is very important for this seat that it has the on-the-fly configuration. So that's, that is something that I kept into mind while I was, uh, I was designing it. Um, so that when Uncle Bob comes by or uh, Cousin Yunus that they can just sit in the seat, adapt it to their height and that they can just drive in minutes. The pedal base can be uh, tilted up and down, has three inclination uh, settings and like I said with the seat rails it has uh, 20 centimeters that it can be moved over over the rails. The seating area has seat rails, so it can also be moved for 20 centimeters um, to accommodate for your leg length. Um, and that's about it. So there is no inclination. There was inclination for seam, but it's not in the total, uh, the total package as I have it now. You can, of course, add some inclination, but that will drive up the price again, 30 euro. Um, and, and that's something that I didn't want to want to do at the moment. What is very important when you have some younger and smaller racers that want to sit in your rig is that you can also adapt the wheelbase height and this is possible with this rig. Um, I looked at the GT Omega Prime Lite so they have a very special system there that I really liked a lot um, and it is with the, the screws with the little wing on it that you can just unscrew it without using any tools so also on the fly you can uh, make the wheelbase higher and lower. I also picked uh, the um, a tablet that can be tilted up and down so we have inclination also of the steering wheel. The build quality, well, I did my best to make it as sturdy as possible of course. The vertical profiles that hold the wheelbase are bolted to the horizontal base beams with six bolts on each side making it very very sturdy. But the massive amount of on-the-fly configuration also has a negative effect on the structural integrity. Starting with the pedals, the usage of the seat rails causes for some flex when braking. This can be clearly seen on the footage I took from testing it. The second issue I had, and that is something I was expecting, uh, was the movement of the wheelbase holder itself. I would have preferred to implement a system like the GT Omega uh, Prime Lite, but this simply wasn't possible with the parts that were in supply. Nonetheless, I can still attach my monitor to it without fearing it will detach. Also, but perhaps this is because I'm not that overly demanding, the minor flex on both components is not bothersome when driving. In all, while it does have some minor flaws, the rest of the build quality being the seating area and overall sturdiness is more than okay. This rig is also um, relatively compact. Um, that also something that I noticed when I wanted to put the uh, GT Omega Prime Lite uh, into the garage, yeah, I need to pass to, through um, uh, two doors and it, I, it couldn't do it because the, the entire uh, width of this frame was too large with the um, gear shift holder in place. So I needed to take off the gear shift holder. This is not a problem with, uh, with this rig, so you can fit through doors without any issue. You have only a centimeter to spare, but any, you can pass through them with, without a problem. It is also uh, shorter, so uh, 120 centimeter is is the complete uh, uh, length of the, the, the lower beams, um, which, which makes it a, a really compact in comparison to other rigs. Yeah, the price, the price, 
it is expensive 610 euro for everything except for the seat so um, without the seat 610 euro and if you look at uh, other frames you have uh, uh, 400 for the 400 at this moment for the Simex uh, Pro X80 you have like 450 uh, euro for the uh, GT1 Evo and the uh, GT1 Prime Lite uh, so without the seat this is quite expensive um, so yeah I took a, a second hand seat and with that then it becomes a little more manageable so you are, are at 750 euro um, for the complete package with a second hand seat it is a rally seat and it is in good condition and then it becomes very manageable it comes at the same price as a GTO Prime Lite but um, if you buy the parts new um, then it will become very expensive. So for features, it comes with the um, the shifter holder um, bar, uh, a complete shifter holder bar, so a complete L. Um, it comes with the seat sliders in the front and for the seat, so for the pedal base and the seat. Um, and that is about it for, for, for features. Options, well, there is the Simex Pro shop, which is full of uh, options that you can use for the uh, uh, for this type of rig and also if you want for 400 euro you can have like the special NX01 uh, ducky badge that you can put on it I'm kidding of course it's just I bought a 3d printer and um, to brighten up a bit the rig and this is a test print that I, that I did the conclusion for this rig, yeah, it is not easy to find a rig out there that can do what this one does standard. As with all the rigs from this segment, I would like to compare it with the GT Omega Prime Light. With a similar seat as that rig, it would be around 150 euro more expensive and would only have the adjustable pedal tray and it being more compact as an asset on top of what that same rig offers. I do find that it is just too little to justify the price, however there are ways to make this cheaper. Using second hand parts for seat and seat rails can bring it already at the same price and if you would be a bit handy and have the necessary tools, the 4080 profiles themselves could also be had cheaper when bought uncut. The concept of this ultra configurable rig has merit and while the NX01 has some issues I hope to see similar, better and hopefully cheaper designs coming from the hardware manufacturers themselves. For me personally it was a fun experience designing it, putting it together and solving the issues I encountered during the build. Thank you all for watching, uh, I hope you had something from this review, it was yeah, a bit of a special one. Uh, leave a like if you did, leave a comment if you have a remark or whatever, something to say, and I will see you all next video. Bye bye.